Hi guys, today we are going to be talking about some common hamster mistakes hamster owners make. So people can make these mistakes because they might have received their hamster as a gift or they didn't do the proper research. So the first commonly made mistake is having too small of a cage. So the cages sold at the pet stores are way too small for a hamster and does not give your hamster a big enough room to do their natural habits. This is very confusing because why would a pet shop sell these cages if it's actually too small? Any store's priority is to sell the items, so pet shops will make the cages super cute and for them to have multiple colors so it attracts children to buy them. Just because hamsters are very tiny creatures doesn't mean they need a tiny space to live. Hamsters are very active and I will link some of my favorite hamster cages in the description. In fact, behind me is my hamster's enclosure and it is the night angel cage and it's a little over 700 square inches. A hamster's cage needs at least 450 square inches of floor space. Just because you are giving your hamster 450 square inches doesn't mean your hamster will be happy in it. Because it is just the bare minimum after all, so I recommend giving your hamster a little bit more. The next commonly made mistake is not giving your hamster enough bedding. You need at least 6 inches of bedding in your hamster's enclosure and nothing less. Why do hamsters need large amounts of bedding? Hamsters burrow in the wild as well as need bedding to dig and bury things in. Bedding also keeps your hamster warm. So if you're giving your hamster a tiny bit of bedding, how is your hamster supposed to do all those things? So if you are buying one of the tiny cages from the pet store, they usually have a tray which is meant for the bedding to fill up to the top. So people get influenced by that and think that's all the bedding you need. And usually the trays are around three to five inches and that is not enough. The next mistake people make is giving your hamster unsafe hamster products. Just because something is labeled for hamsters doesn't mean it actually is safe. I did make a whole video talking about unsafe hamster products, so definitely check that out. Another commonly made mistake is housing two hamsters together. Hamsters are solitary, meaning they live alone, and they will not get lonely when they live alone. They're not social animals, and when you house two hamsters together, it will cause them to fight, and it is possible that one of them could get killed by the other. If you want to own two hamsters, that is completely fine. Just make sure you keep them in separate cages. The last commonly made mistake is not having a vet fund. Hamsters are still living, breathing creatures, and they do need to be taken to the vet if they are sick or acting unusual. So make sure you have a vet fund for them. That is all for today's video. I hope you found this helpful. Hamsters deserve to live happily, so please make sure you're not making any of these mistakes. Check out some of my other videos if you want more help. Thank you for watching.